Hi, Greg Adams here. We're talking about measuring LED lights and the light that comes out of LED fixtures. Uh, there's three important terms that you should understand. The first is PPF. PPF is the total amount of light that a particular fixture gives out. They test this in a sphere test. They put the fixture in a sphere. They close the door. It measures every photon that can possibly come out of that fixture and it gives you a total number. That total number is the total amount of photons that that fixture is capable of putting out. So if you want to compare one fixture to another in LEDs, don't talk about wattage, don't talk about other types of light measurement. You want to talk about PPF. So typical light fixtures for grow lights, they'll put out between 1,000 and 2,000 PPF. Uh, this is the range. So if you're comparing a, a light that puts out 1,000 PPF to one that puts out 1,500 PPF, obviously the, the other one, higher level, has 50% more light. So you need to compare PPF to PPF, not about watts, not about any other measurements. So PPF is the key ingredient to seeing how much light does a fixture put out and how you can compare one against the other. The second term is... PAR. PAR is, uh, measures a certain part of the light spectrum. When we talked about lumens, it measures light in the middle of the spectrum, like the yellows and greens and orange. So you give it a very high lumen level because it's responsive to the human eye. PAR is about plants. It measures the light from the spectrum of photosynthesis, which is roughly 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. So it only measures the light within that zone, but it's better than lumens because you get really the where the absorption is of plants. So PAR is the number we talk about when measuring lights for plants. What's the PAR number? Next, we have the idea of PPFD. PPFD is different than PPF, where PPF is the total light from a fixture PPFD is the amount of light at any particular place. So normally we use that with a PAR meter. So number one, a PAR meter is only measuring that light from 400 to 700 nanometers. So you're measuring all that light spectrum that the plant uses. Number two, this will measure how much light at any point. So obviously you're gonna get higher PAR readings closer to the light, lower PAR re readings as you move away, you'll get lower PAR readings as you move to the side. So this is especially important, PPFD, that's the, pl the light the plant's actually seeing, the plant's actually absorbing. So it's very important that you have even amount of light. First of all, the absolute level, the PPFD level, and also is that level even across all your plants. You want to design your lighting with high enough intensity, the PAR level, and also even, which is the uniformity. You want even PAR readings across your whole canopy, and you want to get the intensity about how far the light is from the height of the canopy. Now, if we're talking about cannabis, PAR levels are Ideal PAR levels are from 800 to 1200. Uh, 500 is, is probably the minimum. You get below four, 500 PAR, you don't get any flower at all. You, st you get above 1200 and you get diminishing returns where there's a point where the plant can't absorb any more light, so you're wasting money. But most growers like to be in that 800 to 1200 range. So there again, if my plant's gonna be two feet from the light when they're mature and they're in flower, I like to have that PAR level be 800 or more at every point where the canopy is going to be. That's how you set up your lights. That's how you make sure you don't have shaded spots. You don't want hot spots either. That can be just as bad. So once again, PPF is how much light comes out of the fixture in total. PAR is the measure, measuring light that plants see. PPFD, it's the amount of light at any particular point which you want to have intensity enough for cannabis or whatever crop you're going and find out the recommended PAR levels. Also uniformity, you want it even across the entire space.